Hey guys, this is Freak Show, and I'm really sorry for not making a video in a very long time. Um, and I'm also sorry for this video because I never thought I had to make this video ever. So if you guys don't know me or not, um, sorry, it's a lot of cars today. I am a very big fan of Pierce Savelle. I loved them since I was about nine or ten. So. You know, they're a really big part of me, and I have just grown to admire them for such a long time. And I'm really upset today because the drummer... I'm really sorry about the cars. The drummer, Mike Puentes, was has been accused of sexual abuse, I guess you could say, of a fan. Now, according to this fan... Um, they met a little bit right after the photodramatic on MySpace. So I guess you can already tell by the fact that they met on MySpace, which is pretty old. It's about 10 years old, I believe. And that at the time she was 16. And that she didn't really know about Peter Savelle. She just assumed that, you know, he was a cute guy that met on MySpace. They were talking. And eventually, when the album came out, they went on tour, and he invited her to go and see them play. So she went ahead and did, and that she took a friend with her, and they met at the parking lot. And I guess a little while later, um, they started making out. Remember, you guys, she he didn't know that she was 16. She didn't he didn't know that she was that she was underage. So, it wasn't totally his fault. And that later on, I guess, uh, her friend ended up, ended up messaging him saying that she was under 16, that she was a still minor, and that... And so he, he decided to message her back, and he asked if it was true, and she said, yes, I'm sorry. And he just, to which apparently he replied that it was okay. And later on, I guess... Uh, I think they met on Warped Tour 2008 and that he eventually they started to do sexual acts together. Together. I'm not saying this was okay and I don't know if it's true or not. We still don't know if it's true. Uh, the band hasn't made a, a, a statement. Mike hasn't commented on this and nothing has been proven but it's all according to this girl on Twitter and it's been just everywhere. It's been on uh, my Instagram page. It's been everywhere. And if you even look at his Instagram page uh, and you go to his most recent picture, you'll just see a bunch of hate comments towards him, calling him a rapist, pedophile, so on and so forth. Realistically, I pers I don't know if this happened, but if it did, I personally don't see anything wrong with it. The only thing, of course, wrong is the fact that she was underage, but she did say that he did make her feel special and that it was and if you look into what she was saying it was consensual it wasn't rape uh it wasn't like he, he she never said anything about him forcing himself upon her it never said anything about him saying like oh you're a real friend you would do this or if you really love me you would do that on top of that she did release a few photos of of him through uh twitter I don't have them on my page, but I do have her story on two of my pages, but... And that when she turns... When she, once she turned 18, he kind of just cut her off cut her off fully. And 10 years later, here she is telling out, coming out with her story. Again, I don't know if it's true or not. Nobody knows if this is true, but it is there. You can go ahead and read it if you want. And... Like I said, personally, if he did do it... The only stupid thing I could see, the only wrong thing that I see was the fact that she was 16 at the time. But, at the same time, like I said, it was consensual. And honestly, if she was over 18 and so was he, it would be seen as so something totally different. It would be seen as another fuckboy thing. And to be honest, he wouldn't be like the first, you know, he wouldn't be the first uh, drummer in a band to have any sexual acts with any of his fans. A bunch of bands did it before him. A bunch of drummers did. A bunch of musicians did it before him. I really don't think it was that bad unless... And on top of that, it depends on wh what state he did it in. I mean, in Oklahoma, I believe, 
you could be 16 and that's that is the consenting age where i live in texas 17 is the consenting age so i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing uh, unless like i said it was a unless it was forced upon her but she never said that it was she never said that he made her do certain things or that she even said no at one point anyway so those are my thoughts and i'm also telling you guys right now please do not send hate to them i don't even think they're aware of what's going on but please do not send hate to them don't even send hate to mike because again we don't even know if this is true or not this is just for now this is just a rumor spreading around so, uh, yeah, that's all I had to say. So, um, thanks for watching, I guess. Bye.